what we've done is we've taken coal and we've shown that coal contains what we call graphene quantum dots. And what's amazing is that for 5,000 years, people have been burning this material. And its price is cheaper than anything on planet Earth. We can buy coal for $10 to $60 per ton. You can't buy even water for that much. Coal is the cheapest thing that we can buy, but locked inside coal are what we have found graphene quantum dots, and not just in trace amounts, but in 20% yield. So 20% of this material turns out to be graphene quantum dots. Graphene quantum dots, if we, when we extract these, look like this. It looks like a black powder coming from this coal or these graphene quantum dots. But once these are in solution, these light up and fluoresce. That's really an important property. The reason that's important is because many times we want fluorescent materials for biological operations, for biological assays, and the fluorescent quantum dots are extremely expensive and they're toxic very often. But these materials are non-toxic and they fluoresce just like quantum dots because they actually are quantum dots. And it's been locked inside this coal for millions of years. And we're able to liberate it just by treating with sulfuric acid and nitric acid, and it liberates this from the structure in 20% yield. And different types of coal have different types of quantum dots, meaning that different types of coal yield quantum dots that fluoresce at different wavelengths. That means there are different colors, depending on what we want. So now we have access from coal to very expensive structures that used to be expensive, and so the price is gonna come way down, and they're all of different colors depending on the source of the coal that we use. So this is what's been unlocked from coal.